All right, so Ward, the first thing I think you need to tell people that I was, what a great analyst meeting. This is, even though it's aggregates, you have one of the most consistent companies in, the, in, in any exchange in the world. You know what? It, it's a very resilient business. It performs well in up cycles. It performs well in down cycles. And one thing that performs well in our business is pricing. We tend to get good pricing all the way through cycles, including in downturns. But part of what we're seeing now, and I think what people are excited about, Jim, is I think we're entering a period of time where private construction and public construction may both be moving up and to the right at the same time. We haven't seen that for a long time. And keep in mind, we haven't seen a significant increase in federal infrastructure investment for almost 15 years. So what you've seen is record performance in a business that really has been doing it without a big shipment volume lever that we typically have had through prior cycles. We think that's what's ahead of us. Well, I think it's important for people to know uh, your idea, which I just absolutely love, of going after where the growth is. I mean, you've got these, you, these mega regions, and if the mega regions work out, even without, without infrastructure help, Ward, you're going to have a big next three or four years. Well, Jim, what's important, and you're right, we've been talking about mega regions and their importance now for about a decade. So what we've been focused on is if we're looking at where growth is going to occur in the United States between now and 2050, 70 percent of that growth is going to occur in about a dozen different mega regions across the United States. And our aim has been strategically to position our business in those mega regions and not just in them, but with leading positions in those mega regions. So if you look over time, what's happened, we've gone from a one or two position in about 65 percent of our markets a decade ago to a one or two position in 90 percent of our markets. But what we think is important as well, Jim, is we still think there's white space in a number of these mega regions for us to continue growing our business and consolidating the industry. And our balance sheet is in a position that we can do that. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.